Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to Buddy Reviews with Jay because Rainbow High dolls don't have second outfits anymore so 10 minute videos on one doll is kind of boring. Hi! Welcome back. Today all of my Series 5 dolls from Amazon arrived and for whatever reason they were a little more money than I'm typically used to paying. People said they only paid $175 but I paid like $190. So, of yourself. so I don't know what happened there but today we we're looking at the two best ones from the collection. We have Olivia and we have Victoria. I still don't know their names by heart. I only know their names because I'm looking at them right now. So yay! But but um, yeah, these two are the queens, the ones that really outdid the rest. You can fight me in the comments, I really don't care. But before we go into any detail with these two girlies, I'm gonna roll my intro obviously because iconic, and then we can get into this video. So yeah! I wanna go. No. He's the epitome of a Hannah Montana transition song. No. Yeah. Okay guys, so we're gonna be looking at Olivia Woods and Victoria. And Victoria Whitman, or Whiteman, I don't know what her last name is going to be in the show, but you know, whatever. These dolls are officially not out. They actually come out on February 26th, which is the lisp. Oh my god. I think they come out on February 26th, which is like next week. So I mean, they're almost here or whatever. For whatever reason, these dolls are $26.99. Unlike the Shadow High Series 2 dolls, which were $24.99, and they come with the same amount of stuff, and the quality is pretty much too par. I don't understand why they're $2 more, and this is why I'm kind of getting annoyed for Rainbow High, because the prices are just all over the place, and it's getting annoying at this point. I can never just go to a store and say, oh, I'm gonna get a $26 Rainbow High doll, because they always have different prices, and it's just getting annoying. Whatever. But we're gonna start looking at the boxes, and then we can get them open because I'm very excited about that. So this is Olivia. She's our army green queen and I love her. I, I just love her so much. If you guys are unaware, Rainbow High did change up their boxes this year. The accessories are no longer stealable, so um, everything has to be inside the box, which I prefer more because I just always find stolen like goodies from Rainbow High dolls. But they also don't have second outfits anymore. They only come with what they're wearing and a bunch of little accessories that are on the side. I do like the accessories, but I do wish that they would do something different with the accessories for each doll. On the window, you can see there's a little illustration of Olivia, but also behind her, she's watching her own back, there is another illustration of her. So it Kind of gives off this like three-dimensional kind of vibe but it doesn't look that great let your true color shine olivia wood promotes the rainbow high youtube and olivia is a fashion focused ironically i'm reviewing these two and it seems like there are besties on the back proper buddy review i love that and it says rainbow high doesn't follow trends we make them watch out shadow high in the world of fashion we always make the cut then here is olivia's barcode if you're looking for her but now that we pretty much looked at Olivia, let's look at Victoria's boxer. So here is Victoria. So cute. I love her so much. She is our first freckled doll, like from head to toe freckled. So as you can see, there is her little artwork on the window and behind it. It says her name, Victoria Whitman. She's also a fashion design focus. And the back of her box is the same. It's green as well. And it says the same thing pretty much. And if you're looking for Victoria, that is her bark. Okay, guys. But now that we pretty much looked at their entire boxes, it's time to get them out of the box and see how they are. So um, I'm going to start with Olivia and move on to Victoria. And they're out of their boxes, which was very interesting. Once again, the new packaging is also just a little bit harder to get a bunch of stuff out, especially the accessories and the stand because it's under the plastic. So yeah, whatever. Time to look at their accessories though, because they do come with accessories now. So um, let's look at those, shall we? So they both came with doll stands in their respective colors. Hers is this very light pink and hers is a green color. They also came with combs that match their stand. For Victoria, she came with the sewing machine that we've seen with Jet Dawson. The little needle still does move. It's a light pink color this time with gold detailing and it says Rainbow High on the bottom. It comes with a hair dryer that also has an attachment for a diffuser. It does come off as well. Pretty much a light pink color with Rainbow High monogram print all around it with some gold. She came with a makeup palette, but she has no brushes for it, so she must be using her hands to put on her makeup. It's a transparent pink color and it says Rainbow High on it. When you open it up, it has a real mirror and really, really pretty. She came with a cell phone and it seems like she is on Instagram of some sort and she has a very badly edited picture of her at a beach. We love that. And then she has four cameras on the back. She also comes with a phone case, which is a clear transparent pink plastic with more monogram print on it. And you can just put the phone in it like so. so. Now it has an extra little accessory to it. And last but not least, she comes with hangers, even though she has no second outfits. As for Olivia, she comes with a pair of sunglasses. I feel like we've seen this exact mold before, but it's just a recolor or it could be just something very similar to something we've seen, but they have gold frames 
frames and some light green lenses on them and there's like nothing protecting the top she as well also comes with a blow dryer with a diffuser attachment and it's green it has black monogram print on it with some gold she also comes with a makeup palette similar to victoria but it's green this time and that is what her color palette looks like in it now she actually did come with makeup brushes but she also doesn't come with a phone so i guess they swapped it out or whatever and last but not least she comes with some army green hangers so yeah guys that's pretty much all the accessories these two come with so let's start looking at them one by one so i'm gonna start with victoria since i've been doing a lot more of olivia first our queen is first <laughs> she's actually very very pretty i really love her hair color it's almost like a really natural strawberry blonde color i love when rainbow high dolls have like natural hair colors because like we're so used to them having like rainbow hair a natural color is always appreciated she has a strawberry blonde ish kind of color hair and and it is in a light curl. There is a lot of product in it. That's something I've noticed of all these dolls is they have a lot of hair product. So um, you'll be seeing a hair video very soon, but it is pretty much just pulled from the front and has two little braids and it goes in the back like that. I feel like her and Delilah would be besties because they kind of both give off a spring vibe. So um, yes, but I'm very excited to do her hair and I'm hoping it's not that shiny that we had to deal with like all of last year. Now I know some people are okay with it, but I'm not. But yeah, I love her hair. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Then if we start looking at her actual physical doll, she has a very light skin complexion with a bunch of little freckles all around her face. Now these ones look a lot more natural than what we got in the past. And her whole entire body is actually freckled as well, as you can see. So she has these very light eyebrows. As for her eye makeup, it's actually really, really pretty. She has a bunch of browns and a little bit of pink in there. It's actually really pretty. She has these very, very pale blue eyes. Now her lips, I'm not the biggest fan of. I just feel like they could have done this just a smidge better. But she has like light pink lips, which kind of give off a natural lip color. I feel like they, they just added a little extra color right in the middle. I would have been so fine with this. For her earrings, she has these really, really pretty earrings, like little flower petals, and they are pearlescent. But the main frame is gold, and it droops down just a little bit, so a little bit of white pearl. And then we can move on to her outfit. Her outfit's actually really cute. A lot of people thought it was similar to Monique from Miss Shadow High Series 2, but it is actually quite different. So she has on this really frilly top that is a bunch of ruffles and multi layers of fabric. It has a border right on the top that is also holding in these gold strings that are attaching the top on her neck. And it is tied in the back. There is also some embroidery on her top to show like little flowers and there are some cutouts for little flowers that are pink. They have little pearls in the middle to look like the inside of a flower. And if I lift her top, you can see she's wearing like a crop top. Then if I move down to her skirt, just like a flower petaling out, almost like a rose. It has a bunch of little pearls on it to kind of look like maybe water dripping off of a flower. Like I said, this doll is just the embodiment of spring. But yeah, it is multiple layers of this like tooly material. Um, Just be careful with this because it is one of those materials that could fray, but it seems like the edges are actually burnt. And both pieces also Velcro in the back. Her outfit is super cute, but I want to know your guys' thoughts on it down below. As for her shoes, these are really nice shoes. I love these so much. They don't really fit her foot well, as you can see, but they're these like really chunky platform heels that are a pink color. They have some gold pearling on them as well with the little RH logo on the back. And then the strap holding up the shoe is almost like a tan skin tone color. And there is a little bow in the center. And I really like this doll's outfit because she's not like excessively wearing any rainbow high print like at all. But I also just wanted to show you her legs very quickly to show you that they are freckled. Now in her promo picture, she did have blushing on her joints, but for whatever reason, mine doesn't seem to have it in the actual physical doll. And she also has pink nail polish on and you can see her hands are also freckled. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much the end of Victoria. Now we're going to move on to Olivia. So here's Olivia. She is my original favorite. We're going to see who is now my number one, but I feel like it's going to be her because I just feel like her aesthetic is like really cool. But Olivia has a tan skin tone complexion. Her main color is army green, which also is why she's wearing a lot of camouflage, but the rainbow high version of camouflage. She has multiple dark green shades in her hair, which is really nice. We don't really get much green dolls, so I'm happy to see another one added to the collection. She has two little knots on the top of her head, and the rest of her hair is supposed to be curly, but it is just super gel. She also has baby hairs that match the little streaks in her hair, so we have some green and lighter green shades that are molded on and painted. She has light brown eyebrows that are very thin and arched. This one is actually a little darker than this one, which is odd. She also has a mark on her face, if you can see right in the middle of her forehead. Be careful with Series 5. I've noticed a lot of people have been getting a a lot of defects with their dolls. She has a bunch of neutral colors on her lids that are mainly green, yellow, and black. She also has these really nice eyes that are actually quite different than I was expecting. And she also has freckles. This is what I was talking about though, because this is how Rainbow High typically does freckles. As for her earrings, we are bringing back the Rainbow High monogram print. So she has one that says H, that's a gold hoop, and one that says R, so R8. If we move on to Olivia's outfit, you can see she is wearing. So the jacket is made of a really thick cotton material, and it has a bunch of monogramming print all around it. Basically just like Victoria phone case, but it's black. It has a lot of great details on it, like real pockets in the front, some faux zipper chain, a faux zipper. There is also some fake little leather bits at the cuffs tail, and there's also 
belt loops for it, which is really, really nice. The inside of the jacket is actually lined. It also has some of these little strings on the bottom just to look like it is one of those adjustable jackets, but it really doesn't work at all. It's just there for detail. Here's what the back of that jacket looks like. So it turns out she's not wearing a dress. She's wearing a two-piece set underneath. It just looked like a dress because of the jacket. So she's wearing a top and a bottom that is made of this green fake denim. It has more of that strapping work along with some belt buckles that say RH. I really like the color they chose for this. It has a bunch of stitch work on it as well. If we move on to the skirt, you can see she has some faux zippers along with little buttons. Oh my god. And they're those like marbled buttons that you would see like on like old man jackets. And she also has a belt made of that same fake leather material with a little RH buckle in the center. And you can see the pockets for this are actually hanging loose on the bottom. I'm not sure if these actually do work. I think it's just more for look. So it seems like the belts do come off with some Velcro. And also the top and the bottom are done up with some Velcro. Honestly, she has a really, really detailed outfit. So I'm actually not mad at her at all. Her hands look very weird. She has the long nail mold, which is nice to see on Rainbow High Dolls. She also has like a very light green nail polish on, but there's like a bunch of marks on it. It almost looks like she has not used moisturizer in a long time or she let her dog bite her hand off. But um, yeah, I don't like how they look. <laughs> and then if we move on to her fabric boots, I love fabric boots. I mentioned this in my Claudine little studio video. Fabric boots are the way to go no matter what. So she's also wearing a similar print to her jacket. There's also some pockets on it, which I found was very interesting. You definitely could put one of the makeup brushes in it, which is actually really, really cute. And the tops are actually cuffed with another one of those fake leather straps. And we also have a black patch that says RH in gold in the center. And if I turn it around, you can see she has a gold little buckle. And then for the heel on the bottom, it is just black. And her boots don't limit her motion in her knees. And here's what she looks like wearing her sunglasses. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I might just put them on the top of her head. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the sunglasses. But honestly, this is the best one from the collection, I think. And we'll have to open the rest and see if she stands the test of time. But for real, the quality on this doll is actually really good. So I'm gonna get Olivia and Victoria on their stands, posed and ready for the final thoughts section. So, beer be. Okay guys, so I put them on their stands. I'm trying to make her look like a badass by crossing her arms, but her jacket's not helping it. And I wanted to give her a phone, but like this hand is not where the little thumb grip is. So she's just gonna be like singing to the birds, I guess. I don't know. These two are totally polar opposites, which is kind of funny that they are on the back of each other's boxes, which I assume that they're supposedly best friends because of that. I don't know if that's like the lore of the boxes, but we'll have to see when series four comes out on YouTube. Let's get into my final thoughts on Olivia and Victoria. So I definitely think Rainbow High is still the highest quality doll on the market compared to other dolls that are out currently, but I am kind of disappointed that they did up the prices for this series by $2 rather than keep it at $24.99 like Shadow High. I just don't like how the prices keep going up and down. I'd rather just have a stable like price point for Rainbow High dolls. Now I do know that toy production has costed more ever since COVID, so like I know that. I don't know, I just never understood why it just keeps going up with Rainbow High and like OMG and other brands like they have like set prices you know but other than the price point i think these two dolls are actually the best ones you could possibly get and of course we're going to see two other videos of two other best friends soon so um we'll see if they will continue to be the best ones but in my personal opinion these are my two favorites and i would totally recommend you pick them up it all depends on your personal sense of style like as for the accessories they come with i do feel like the reuse of the same old accessories from rainbow vision are kind of getting old now i would love them to invest into some more accessories for these dolls rather than all of them have the same ones and this includes Shadow High Series 2. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on these two down below. Who is your favorite? Are you Team Victoria or are you Team Olivia? But guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love you to join my channel. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. But until then, bye.